Hey, what's up everybody? This is your friend Dave Gudvi and I've come up with some interesting, interesting question. Look, I had, I had this discussion going on in my Care Nation WhatsApp group and everybody was talking about, hey, Dave, can you help us on how we can get better jobs and better opportunities? So I said, hey, why not? I'll do this video where I will tell you more about what I understand about attracting jobs rather than begging or asking for a favor to get a job. So let me first start with telling you a little bit about my story, right? My name is Dave Gadvi. come with 15 years of experience working with big corporates, IT industries, market research and all. Initial part of my life, I was the one who was asking for favors. Then something happened after I started studying the millionaires and billionaires and I started studying the successful people. The successful people, they actually attract and they don't ask. Now I'll explain this little more in detail. So the first thing what I had to realize is when I was asking for a job, I was literally putting myself down where I was positioning that probably I'm not capable enough to get better opportunities or better jobs. And that is the reason I had to rely on somebody else's mercy. I had to ask my ex-colleagues, some people on social media to help me out. I said, look, that's not working out for me. I invested more time, effort in developing my skills first. That's what I did. The moment I started putting more effort, people started recognizing me that, hey, this guy is somebody really good at what he is doing. And I started learning all the different techniques which is to be learned for my job which is in sales and I started seeing success coming my way after a period of time I realized that look it's highly critical and high, highly important to become the best in your field and not just rely on somebody else to tell you hey look I don't have any job man uh, why do you want that situation why do you want to reach out to strangers and ask for help, don't you think you're capable enough? So that's what really stuck my head in, in my head when I was searching a lot of jobs uh, and uh, looking for some help to get new opportunities. So I was the one who was almost jobless, where there was one, one of the companies I was working for, the process got shut down and it was a multinational, multi-billion dollars company based out of the US, but they had their presence here in India. So I know people who were with me there were a lot of people who were scared about the job. Um, I wasn't so scared. I was in the tight spot, but it turned out so well because I, I put my effort, my energy in developing my skill and becoming good at it. And um, there are a few things which I learned from being the person who is asking for help, asking for job opportunities, to going to become a person who is being approached by who's of who asking him to work for them right so what is this what is the shift what is the shift what is the bridge from going from person who wants to be part of some company group or somebody who's been asked to be part of the group right so what is the bridge the bridge is you got to be the best at what you do how would you become best Number one, work on your skills every single day. Number two, hang out with people who are the best. Learn from the best. Learn, find some coaches, some online tutorials or people who you know that really master of your craft or your business. Learn from them, execute, implement and be highly productive. There is no place for a competition if you are in the game, right? If you are playing the game, the competition is not good for you. Now, that's what I learned from Grant Cardone. He said, hey, look, if you're playing the game, do not compete, dominate. And that is what I did, tried, at least tried to, I don't know, maybe others can be a better judge on whether I'm dominating or not. Uh, but yeah, that's what I always had a focus that, hey, I'm gonna be the best, I'm gonna dominate my space, that when somebody has to equate the greatness, the best, it would be Dave Gudby, right? That's, that's my focus. And um, when I started doing that, things started to change. I was no longer the person on this side of the world who was asking for help, asking for a job. 
I came slowly from this bridge to the other world where people were asking me for help and asking me to join their teams and now the situation is where a lot of people come and reach out to me wanting to be part of my team and, and look I'm not bragging right I don't get anything if I brag I know it for sure all I'm doing is I'm sharing my experience what has worked for me third thing which really worked for me is from the time I became outspoken and I started talking to the world and giving back to the world training people sharing my knowledge my knowledge actually doubled or tripled and my skill became very strong now we all know that only the best of the best gets the cream the rest probably gets the you know crumbs which is on the you know, at the bottom so if you want to be the best you want to work with the best become the best right reach out to the people who are the best right so third fourth point is find the right set of people the network right connect with like-minded people if you're in IT connect with all the IT people who are the best in IT and making more money than you now it said that you are an average of the five people that you hang out with it is very true try and include those five best people who are better than you smarter than you effective than you who have bigger dreams and you will definitely be the best so these are the three things and number four when you're connecting with the stranger always think how I can add more value to that person not what can I get out of that person from that mindset mind shift itself would really really change your game what what do I mean by that I mean that when you're reaching somebody who has who has got knowledge um, just go and appreciate that right anything you learn just go and appreciate it and share that content that will get you one step closer to the network or people who you want to hang out with do not shy away from sharing the content like you know like this what we're doing is going to help you connect with like-minded people and when you connect with like-minded people magic happens right magic happens I spend my whole day with like-minded people a couple of really really good guys uh, Sharmishta, Aniket and all those people um, really forward thinker who will definitely achieve a lot in life so yeah spend your time wisely build your network and just one thing it's not an exam you know imagine imagine you asking for a help when you appeared for your exam and you asking for a favor hey can you please promote me can you give me passing mark hey, can you do me a favor do you ever do that in exam you don't you just go you write what you're capable of what your knowledge is and you get what you want right the marks which you will get is based on what how much effort you put how much knowledge you gained and you perform that day the same thing applies in life and job as well that why do you have to ask or beg somebody that hey please if you have any job opening let me know please recommend me please share the reference I don't want to be the person I want to be the person who is outspoken and uh, somebody who should be approached by everybody because I am becoming the best at what I'm doing so always be the person who is the best and you will get the rest all right thank you so much this is your friend Dave Gadvi and if you want to be part of my care nation whose mission is to help one 10 million people so if you want to be part of my care nation community on um, whatsapp facebook linkedin just look me up on facebook you can find me at dave.gadvi.10 linkedin you can find me at dave underscore gadvi at hotmail.com or you can look me up or send me an email i can connect you on my um, whatsapp group we already got close to around 350 people in in two parts two different groups you've got a lot of people jamming in with a lot of motivation energy positivity people who are hungry for success so hey thank you so much for watching once again don't forget to subscribe to all my channels to stay updated on how to get ahead in life and how to succeed and always care for your future and care for others that's what's going to matter the most all right thank you so much have a fantastic day